Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is hard and we are going to really dig into the Weizsaker Ranch hold a number two. This is uh, based on an old guide that I've been created but I haven't changed the spins in several wins. I've also changed out some videos to display in more angles and I've also changed the landing position screenshots to have better um, the, yeah, what is it called? A better quality and when it comes to the guide. Still the same landing spots though, but it's a better picture so we can see them better. Before we take a closer look at the, uh, everything, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button. It means a lot if you can do that, so please do. Subscribe to the channel as well, doesn't cost you anything, and then turn on the notifications if you do want to have a notification where when there is a new video or a live stream here on the channel. Last but not least, we do have more than 2,000 players that have chosen to get our help in the month of May. Getting an advantage in tour play and in tournament play by getting our exclusive tour text guides and or the ultimate tournament guides for pro, expert and master. If you're interested in that, you can always email support at golfclashtommy.com and you can see some examples or you sign up directly at patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. Either uh, use the link in the description down below or scan the QR code that you do have on the Golden Shot text guide. Now, why take a ranch hole and number two? And this was the one that I wanted to have because I knew I had an old guy that I needed to build a little bit upon, but it's still going to be a good one. So here... I do uh, have the obsidian chest for the hole in one, amber chest for the yellow ring, crimson for the red ring, aqua chest for the light blue ring, cobalt chest for the dark blue ring. And press the question mark on the top right if you do want to see more uh, frequently asked questions about the golden shot. If you do experience an error or you just have more questions about golf clash in general, then you press the button called contact us, which is Swedish for contact us. We are going to play with the Golden Long Iron or the Golden Wood Club. The Golden Long Iron will be played in all Tailwinds. The Golden Wood Club will be played in all Crosswinds and Headwinds. And obviously I will talk you through everything like that when we take a look at the videos. Landing position here now, we do have Tailwind to start with. And now uh, there's two things you look at and that is to have uh, your target at complete max club. The beauty with it, we all play with the same level of the Golden Shot Club is that we all will have the same max club. So complete max distance with the right side of the yellow ring by the rough line. You do not have to add spin before or just have to do it after, doesn't matter. Uh, because we're only looking at the max line and also the yellow ring to the right by the rough line. In crosswind and headwind, it's actually going to be even easier to do the landing position, and that is that we're going to do an NMT. And what that means is that you shall not touch your target until it's time to adjust for the rings. So this is how uh, every shot will open up. This is how your landing spot will look, and that's what you're going to keep. And here you're just going to apply the spins that we do have in the chart and then you're going to adjust and then try to hit perfect and you will be close in that way uh, which again is super duper simple and in nmt we are always going to open up in wood club and we're going to play with a wood club in headwind and crosswind so let's take a look at all the videos here and we are starting off with not that one we're actually going to start off with another little thing that I will try to implement on every golden shot video. Now, there is a trick to get to know what wind you will have before you actually uh, start the clock to tick down and you have to take your shot. And that is though, every time you have opened your chest, the screen will then uh, move back towards the T. So before it moves back to T, in the middle of op um, ending up opening the chest and moving back towards the T, this will happen. You see after the chest, Look at the wind, uh, wind uh, direction of the flag. Look to where the flag is, uh, what direction it blows. And that's the wind direction you will have on your next shot. And taking a look at the pin in that case will give you time then to prepare yourself to, okay, this is gonna be approximately this spin. It's gonna be this landing position, for an example. It helps speed, so, speed up the process and it help you save a couple of seconds and not time out. Now, we are going to take a look at the videos and we start with uh, 
uh, shot number one this is a great ball but i wanted to display another one in headwind and that's why i still chose to display this one here three backspin half a bar of left spin direct headwind 6.4 miles per hour is 2.7 rings and we're going to look at the green numbers at the top of the table that's the wood club and the red one is at the bottom right which is a long iron which is max plus 10. Always pull over bullseye. I think you know me by now that that is something that I always do to create a consistency in the amount of rings that we're pulling. So even I can hit great balls on a golden shot. It's it hurts because I know it's going to be a good chance. We can see that the speed is really good. We can see that the direction, if we would be hitting perfect, would have been very close to a hole in one, if not in. And obviously, I do not have any chests to collect. Otherwise, that would have been a yellow ring even with a great but let's move on and now we're gonna only see perfect shots here we do another one in headwind and that's going to be once again an nmt you can see that i'm going directly to set my spins i'm not touching the target until it's time to adjust the range 1.2 left spin and then a little bit more than three backspin this is like an in-between angle in my opinion 6.3 miles per hour is going to give us uh, 2.7 rings this as well center the ball hit perfect and there we do have a perfect ball and it's going to bounce on the fairway up towards the green and take that little turn and we're getting it very close for and hole in one uh, and we stay inside the yellow ring as always when it comes to the golden shot guides my goal is always to provide a guide where if you do everything by the book and you hit perfect then you will see yourself getting at least the red ring let's move on and we are going to go with a little bit of tailwind i chose to uh, pick this shot because this is definitely the toughest wind angle you can get because in crosswind we should be playing nmt but as we do have a little bit of tailwind we cannot play nmt as we will be pulling into min, uh, min club so there i have to go back and play the long iron and have to do some innovative in between uh, situation thingy here which i do not like because it's gonna be a complete guesswork in the end with the references that we do have in the guide so i'm using uh, approximately 1.6 top spin and half a bar of right spin and again that's a little guess but it's good for all of you to have this as a reference if it happens to get that to you because this one is getting very close and we're staying in the inside the yellow ring and that should be considered as in my opinion good uh, as it is a tough angle to to do something well in hammerhead it is and we get uh, some berserkers in the end this is in my opinion a good chance to stock up with some berserkers i would call this on a scale of easy to hard i would say medium uh like or let's say a scale from one to ten um when it comes to how easy this one is or how money this one is i would give this one a solid seven because i do believe a perfect will be a good chance for an hole in one and will be um in a worst case scenario one of the inner uh, rings for a good chest a little bit of headwind again 6.6 .6 miles per hour is uh, 2.8 rings and we're pulling over the bullseye bounces on the fairway getting up towards the pin and we get it yes we do get in a hole in one in headwind here and um, we'll see what we do get in the obsidian chest for this hole in one we go apache young list yuck honestly i need a yuck emoji here because that was crap first circle ball in the end and that is once again a very good thing to have because the circle balls will most definitely be valuable or is valuable in tournaments nowadays especially when you can't really win them in the same extent 1.2 top spin no side spin this is more or less a direct tailwind with a little bit of a crosswind directed left but i feel this one is direct tailwind so i'm going with that 6.4 miles per hour is 3.8 rings and we are going to in this case pull over the bullseye center the ball hit perfect and it's going to be a good chance there we go it's going to bounce on the fairway up towards the pin we love when the camera does like this and we know it's going to be close speed wise absolutely perfect the nuts for a lovely hole in one let's see what we do get in this obsidian obsidian chest it's nice to 
get a hole in one, but especially more nice to get it on different accounts so we can uh, get obsidian chest uh, every on every place. Uh, runner, we do have Malibu, and we do have Boomerang. Wow, absolute wow, honestly. That's uh, Young List in one, and then Malibu in one. Now, another Tailwind, but with a direction that is more northeast, um, in my opinion. Yellow Rain by the Rough Line in complete max distance, 1.4 top spin and 0.2 left spin. Or I would say with this here, I'm playing more 1.3 top spin. I would say that's how I would value that. 3.8 miles per hour. It is not, but 3.8 rings for 6.4 miles per hour. It is. Then to the ball and it's perfect. And here, once again, I'm going to address this that might be very boring. If you're not centering the ball in a good way, having accidental curl to the left or right or under power or over power, that will impact your outcome. It, it, there is, uh, unfortunately, uh, that, that it's unfortunately like that. I wish it wouldn't, but that's, in my opinion, the cause of most of the inconsistent, well, not inconsistent, uh, but that's the cause of many many close misses from players where they are not accurate enough with centering the ball which is a key thing in golf clash and i don't know what happened there in the end but my chest failed and um, i did get that one uh, later on by from the support as that's an old video that i was using there uh, in the end so ladies and gentlemen there we do have it let's take a look at the uh, text guide this is made by tony richardson as always for us here uh, our golden shot users make sure to subscribe to tony's channel please do that his uh, link to his channel is in the description down below we're starting on the left side i'm thinking all the green part no move target nmt don't touch the target until it's time to adjust the rings and we're gonna play minimum distance plus 10 we have the vpr table on the bottom left then we do have the spins all right so we do have direct crosswind, we play uh, left to right, 3.8 back spin, 1.3 left spin, wind coming right to left with crosswind, 3.8 back spin, 0.7 right spin, uh, wind coming left to right with headwind and crosswind, 3.2 back spin, 1 left spin, wind coming right to left with crosswind and headwind, 3.2 back spin and 0.3 right spin, direct headwind, 3 back spin and half a bar of left spin. When it comes to the red ones, which is the one that I believe has the best chance for an hole in one. Uh, and then we play from absolute max club with the yellow ring by the rough on the right. And we all have the same max club, so there's nothing to be worried about there. Uh, max plus 10, and you do have the VPR in the bottom right corner. And then when you have the spins, direct tailwind, 1.2 top spin, no side spin. Wind coming left to right with tailwind and crosswind, 1.4 top spin, 0.2 left spin. Wind coming right to left with tailwind, 1.4 top spin, and 0.2 right side spin. Scan the QR code on the guide or go to patreon.com slash golfclash Tommy for more. Um, high class guides for you to improve your game and become a better player so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comment section below how it went for you and i will be happy to read that afterwards and thank you once again for watching good luck in your gold clash game